KRN, this is the Thrift Find. Not a whole lot, but I picked up ET. Uh, still not completely sealed, but it's got the shrink wrap. So ET, I know it's rare on Google. I it's listed as rare. At least a couple of hundred, two hundred bucks, and maybe three hundred bucks of value. If it were sealed, it'd probably be a lot more. Mission to Mars, kind of interesting couple bucks. If I find some interesting titles, I'll try to pick them up. Spice Girls. Fortunately, the case is cracked. So I have to replace the case. A couple bucks. I know I got a couple of them, but I don't know if I have this one. They also have a couple bucks. Sometimes they have more in the battery store. I scored on the board again. Checkers. Couple bucks. eBay, at least $100 value. So, this is a really good find for me, the checkers. I'm gonna see if all the pieces are here. So, let's take a look. And I've been after this one for a long time. So, so for me, I need, I found all my board games except for one. But actually, I did kind of find it, but not the right model that I want because they do reproduce these things. So there's only one more. I'm not gonna say what I need until I find it. You may they sell for a hundred to hundred fifty bucks and rent did you want like this. So how many pieces should there be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plus the crown. Couple extra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And a couple extra. So all the a lot of times I don't find the these pieces, so that's a score for me. It's childhood memories, so that's why I want to collect them, not really do I have anyone to play with, but I'm just if you play it by yourself even. It's kind of torn here. Still pretty good graphics. EP you don't get you know, good profit. eBay at least a hundred dollar value. And Mission to Mars, probably these 40 bucks. ET is a couple hundred bucks, so ET is probably 200 bucks, 300 bucks. Maybe even 500 bucks if it were sealed, I think. So besides I looked up Google to see like which movies might be rare besides the Disney stuff and there's a couple out there. So that's pretty good for me. So I need one more because I found all of the board games I do want except for one. And eBay they're listing it for at least $100 to $150 for vintage board games like this. So. Hopefully I can still find it, but so far two years I've been looking for it, I have not found it, but I did find an earlier reproduction, but the one I'm looking for is a plastic one. I'm not going to tell you what the name of it is until I find it, so. but Checkers was one of them, Trouble was one of them, and I have found both of them t t till now. So. My last find for checkers was a plastic one, but I wanted the paper one, and this is the paper one. So this other plastic one looks exactly the same. But now I scored on my uh, board games. A couple of titles, interesting titles. ET is a rare one, I know, but it's not sealed. So it's got the shrink wrap, but at least two hundred dollars, maybe even four hundred dollars. So there are a couple other movies that are rare besides the Disney VHS. But once you get into your collection, nothing. Unless you're a seller, then you can make some money that way, rip people off. But if I were to sell these, I would price them high too. So, so I wouldn't get ripped off by the freaking low ballers out there. So. I sold my music once, I regretted it, so now I got pretty much all my music back, except for a couple, which I still could pick up by the end of the year, maybe. 
But for the most part, I have most of the Pearl Jam stuff I had, except for one or two. So, I'm doing pretty good with my music. Thanks for watching. Anything I could get a thrifting will help me out. So, hopefully I still could pick up some more music this year or next year. Whenever my refund comes, I'm, depends on what I'll do with it. I don't know yet. Maybe a TV show or something. So, we'll see. Thanks for watching couple of rare finds here but nothing great for horror and these are our, from the donation store with the bad stickers so they don't always peel very easily if they do they uh, tear the I don't mind if their backs torn a little bit but if they place it on the front then that's kind of but now they're placing it more towards the back so that could be interesting they keep doing that but I'd rather have a clean front so thanks for watching but this store has the worst stickers out of all of them so goodwill ain't too bad I don't know why these people have the horrible stickers Donation story with a horror hurry ball stickers. Thanks for watching. Scored on checkers. What was checkers same for? I think so. Sometimes I go to a couple different ones.